The uh, purpose of this video is to show how to use a, uh, a curve fitting software called Curve Expert. And there's different versions. I'm going to talk about the basic version. It's called version 1.4 or the basic version. There's also a professional version that works a little bit differently. It does pretty much the same thing, but of course it's more powerful because it's pro the professional version. Now the first thing you would do is type in your data here. And uh, so I'm just going to start uh, typing. Now note I, I typed in negative 1 and it goes automatically over to the y value. So, and then it uh, goes to the next column's x value. So my next point is 0, negative 6, and then the point 1, 0. So you just type in your data. Now when you get close to the end of the data, and I have a couple of more points here. When you get that's my last y value. The last point I have is five comma two forty four. When you get to the last y value, don't hit the enter button. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens. So if you hit the enter button, what happens is it puts you down in the next spot here, and what happens is you end up generating a zero here, and it actually generates the point zero zero. And the point zero zero isn't supposed to be on this. Uh, if you look in the graph here, you can see really closely. Uh, there's actually two points right there. There's the one zero point, which is supposed to be there, and the zero zero. So you actually have to delete those if you happen to hit enter after the last y value. And so, see, I I, I keep on clicking on one. Every time I click uh, delete one zero, the other one's gone too. So what you have to do is highlight them and right click and then cut. And so that point data point's gone because you have that extra data point. It'll mess up your uh, your regression. So here's my entire data, and so um, you know maybe it's quadratic. So maybe uh, if you go up to apply fit, there's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, models in here: linear, quadratic, etc. So let's say we thought it was quadratic. I'll click on quadratic, and the window will pop open. It actually popped open one of my other variable uh, monitors. And so this is my quadratic fit, and it's fairly close, but none of the points except for maybe that one are exactly right on the parabola that it gave me. If I want to see the equation, I go into info, and it, it, one of the things about Curve Expert is it kind of writes it backwards how do we normally would write like a quadratic in standard form. Notice that the a is normally the coefficient of the x squared, and b is the linear, and then c is the constant in the end. Well, they've got that written in the opposite direction. So you have to make sure that you re you realize that. So the quadratic coefficient is c here, and everything's always written in scientific notation. So you see the that means 1.1 times 10 to the power of 1. So that actual number would be 11. So if I were going to write out the equation, I would actually write y equals it'd be 11 x squared, uh, yeah, squared. And then the b number is negative 5 times 10 to the power of 0. So that's actually just negative 5. So we would write minus 5x. And then negative uh, 1.8 times 10 to the power of 1 is negative 18. Remember that 1 actually just tells you to move the decimal place one point if you want to put it as a, as a normal number. So there would be a minus 18 on the end here.